Hey guys, how's it going? This is Kendris. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be analyzing the Persona art style. First, I'm going to explain what the artist is doing with the line art, the colors, the shading, and the proportions of the characters. And then I'm going to show you a few ways you can get similar results using Cup Studio Paint. And you can pretty much do this with any drawing program, but I just like Cup Studio. That's the one I use. First, I'm going to talk about the line art. <clears throat> and if you notice, the line art is pretty much like really basic. Like it's not too much. It's like very like minimal, like really thin lines. And you don't see it too much. Like for example, here you don't see anything just clean. Like a lot of the work is being done by the shadows, you know. The line art is, is almost just like the outline and it's really thin and sometimes you know a couple lines inside kind of you know, to show the form or kind of divide the space and yeah so the lines are not really like f for doing shadows or like things like that like showing like how round something is you know it's mostly a little bit showing the form but it's just like the outline pretty much of the form. Like here you see a little bit, but it's very minimal. And the line is pretty thin. It's not like thick to thin too much. The only place you see it is like when lines uh, intersect like that, uh, or, or just touch. So for example here, you see this line. You see this line here, and then it kind of goes with this other line here. Uh, what's happening there is that the lines kind of you kind of blend them in like that, so you kind of add a little bit extra, so it looks like they kind of you know go together. Um, yeah, but it's not there's not really much else besides that. Is is pretty much really thin lines, like the same line weights. You know, sometimes when the lines meet like there, you know, a little bit. And you see, like, it's pretty much like that throughout the whole drawing. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is the uh, colors. Like, overall, it has kind of that desaturated look. But, you know, it's kind of like a, a mixture of both. You have a very kind of desaturated skin, and then, you know, you have colors kind of there in the middle, and then some saturated colors. Yeah, you see, it's pretty much the same for all characters. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I think the colors are kind of normal. The skin is pretty much the, the only difference. It's going to be a little bit uh, more desaturated. And something else is going on with the colors is that there's like gradients. Uh, these are our gradients. And you can see here, for example, you know, for example, you have the flat color, which is the the red, and then there's like this grading going on. You see, if you slide it, you see the colors changing you know, as you move it. So, you know, it's a, it's a gradient, and the gradient is pretty much like a gray gradient. Like you see, it's only getting darker. It's not changing like the, the color, it's just like gray, it's just getting darker. So something I see happening is that there is this gradient so for the clothing and things like that, the gradient is gray. You know, you see it, and it's not over the whole. Uh, it's not like for the whole character. It's just like, you know, you see it darker to light here, and then it starts getting light darker to light here, and then darker over here goes light. So kind of to show a little bit of where the light is coming from. Uh, even before you add like the, the, the actual shading, stuff like that, the, the, the actual shadows. So yeah, it's like, so it's like a little bit of color change before you add like the shadows and things like that. Uh, you can see here, it's also going from gray pretty much, but the skin is different. The skin, it doesn't go into gray. You can see here, Pretty saturated, and then it starts getting a little bit more saturated, and it changes a little bit. It kind of goes into like red a little bit. For example, is here is yellow. This is color, 
and down here see it changed kind of went to orange it went a little bit more saturated so for the for the clothing things like that like i said it's like a gray gradient uh, but for skin it's kind of like more like reddish kind of gradient so let's look at the shadows so the shadows are pretty much like cell shaded look you know pretty you know basic you see that in manga and other stuff like anime but i like something that artists are doing here is this uh kind of like uh lines like that but it's being done with the cell shading not really with the lines so it kind of gives uh, the, this cool effect that you know the lines are very clean but then you go in and kind of do like the rendering you're doing that with the you know cell shading which is pretty cool i think it's a good uh, effect so the shadows are kind of combined with the gradients and it, they give it a pretty interesting look where you see that you know it's getting like darker and then it goes into like the shadow it's more interesting because it, you know it, ha it it looks it's not flat it's it just it's not for example like this is it should be one color skin color uh but having the grading make gives it a more better form and things like that and since we're talking about the shadows let's talk about this uh, light so this light is like the reflect the light or like the back light or something like that uh, it's this blue color and it's pretty much the same you see if you click in different spots it's pretty much the same like it doesn't change much so what i think is going on here is um just put like a flat color but then you put it like a little bit less transparent for example this is the color i put it here but i put it like slightly transparent so it kind of changes whatever you put it so it gives you a slightly different look so something else about the lighting and you know shadows is the highlights and the highlights are actually very minimal you see there's not too many highlights you know not like our anime that they have like a, like a lot of like highlights you know they try to put like some shiny colors everywhere this is like very minimal you see only in a few spots and even then it's like very small even here for example uh yeah this girl you know she's a lot of metal and things and even there it's not too much uh you know just like a couple places you know it's kind of it's, it's, it doesn't have too many like crazy highlights you know it's just like little little points here and there, you know, pretty you know, basic. So let's go into the proportions a little bit. So for the proportions, uh, the characters are usually like something like this, uh, like seven heads, uh, around seven heads. And it depends on the character. The second character is actually like six and a half. You know, so it changes a little bit. So we could say like six and a half to like seven will be a good number for like how tall the characters are. Um, something else, for the head, um, you know, the halfway point is like where the eyes are. So, you know, if uh, I made it a square here, but if you make it, you know, a circle, it will be the same thing. Uh, you know, halfway, and then the eyes are just under that, and then divide that in half again. That's like the nose. Uh, kind of typical for like a lot of manga and stuff like that. So it's kind of like a regular manga style when it comes to the head, things like that. Uh, for the shoulders, how wide the shoulders are is just like half of the face i got you know like an extra half pretty much so you know how, i mean i don't know how else to explain it you know just you see half of the face that same distance you will be up to the shoulder and then other half so uh it's pretty much the same for like the legs you know it changes uh, of course you know it, it changes uh in the middle but it's pretty much like the same thing 
Yeah, so I think that's really, the proportions are not really too crazy. They're you know, pretty normal, like anime style kind of proportions. So now let's see ways you can get this effect in your own drawings, things like that. Maybe if you wanna, you know, pick a couple of things from the style and add it to your own style. <clears throat> For the line art, pretty much uh, just really thin, with almost like no pen pressure. You could you could put like some like small amount of pen pressure, like, like barely noticeable, and then. Pretty much you want to keep it as little as possible there's no really like rendering kind of uh, you see a lot of like comics and things like that you know you don't want to show like the form with the that kind of shading that's that's gonna be done with the shadows we use rulers and i would say and put them with the same kind of settings the same thickness and things like that so so, you know, when you use uh, the ruler, it looks the same. It looks like it was with a pen or things like that. Um, yeah, so you can have really smooth lines, things like that, really easy. And so you can go here and then, you know. So that would be my tip for the lines. Just do that and when the lines meet, when the lines meet, you kind of add a little bit of extra there at the edge so it gives you a cool like so it gives you like a more interesting look uh, and you know, it shows you a little bit of the the form so yeah that's pretty much the line just keep it clean and don't do too much just keep it super basic it's even here there's no lines in in there just like the outline um, yeah, and everything is the shadows. And as if for the colors, just keep them very like desaturated and you know as much as possible, mostly for the skin. But then everything else could be like normal, normal colors, pretty much. Something else is adding the gradients. So let's say you select an area. You know, so you go in and kind of a, a little bit of the gradient you see like not too much like don't oh, not all the way just make it uh, you know just add a couple like it, it shouldn't it, it shouldn't be too much it's just gonna be a little bit because because later you're gonna add the shadows and you know the way when that blends together it, it, it gives you a pretty cool effect so don't overdo the gradients just do a little bit and should be fine. You know, a good way to do it, just select the area that you wanna, don't, don't do it over the whole character, just select the area and do the gradient like that. Just quick, it doesn't have to be great because it's pretty much supposed to be like barely noticeable. And then for the shadows, uh, you wanna have something like this, uh, kinda dark, you know, something like there, almost, well, not almost black, like 80 to 90 percent black, you know, to black. Uh, and I would say put it multiply. Uh, I'm gonna put it lighter. Cause... So, you know, you put it until it, it looks fine. I mean, here I, I put too much shadows here, but, you know, um, it's supposed to be decently dark. Um, and have it there with the multiply, so it gives you this effect. Um, you know, you see it here. You know, you see it's actually darker. I had this drawing done before, so it's not really perfect for for this kind of style. But you know, you wanna have it like multiply and then go over like that. Um, Something else, uh, you see the blue shot, the blue light. So for this reflected light, it's just like this blue, but I would say it's pretty a little transparent. Um, because you see here, it, you know, you can kind of see through a little bit of the color below. Something you should know is like the, the reflected light will be hitting the pretty much in the shadows. 
yeah, because you know the main light is hitting here, so the reflector light will be hitting the shadow areas. It's not gonna hit the same spot. So this was a quick uh, example of ways you can do this, this style. Uh, and of course, the line the line art is not like the same. You don't have like these thicker outlines, which is not like, how they do it. Uh, have some lines there, which you know the lines are not really in the same style, but you know you can see already like a little bit with the colors, you know the gradients, uh, the gray kind of shadows, and the reflector light. You kind of get this similar effect, um, but yeah, uh, you can experiment with that and i'm sure you get like pretty similar results or you can just pick a couple of things from the style that you like you know maybe you want to add a little more, more gradients to your you know cell shaded uh, characters or drawings you know maybe uh, i really like for example this kind of like uh rendering but instead of being done with the lines is done with the you know shadows which I think is pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna start using some of that. And yeah, just keeping everything like clean, like don't overdo it, just pretty much the outline and you know, keep it simple. So that's gonna be it for this uh, style analysis. And hopefully you guys uh, like some of this stuff and you know, start using some of these kind of uh, techniques like the gradients combined with the cell shaded look uh, and maybe the lines and things like that so yeah that's gonna be it and i'm gonna be doing a lot more of these kind of videos like analyzing different styles things like that so yeah i'll be doing like a series of that and you know i'm sure it will get better as i go along um yeah so that's gonna be it for the video thanks for watching guys see you next time bye